What's up with the good people? It's your boy 314 Mike, man. I'm back with another little quick video, right? So I was supposed to do this video uh, about three weeks ago, but I, I, I see your boy say cheese. He kind of trending, so shit. I'm, I'm going to give my um, perspective or my opinion on how I feel about him, right? So I remember when our local artists, you know what I'm saying? They had a little buzz going on and shit, doing a little thing, you know what I'm saying? And basically, Say Cheese came down, you know what I'm saying, gave him an interview. So I'm like, oh, that's 100, that's 100. He fucking with the city. So I saluted it, right? But in those interviews, I did notice that he entertained the beef a lot, right? But it's all good. We ain't tripping. I guess that's what sales, especially with these young artists. So it brought me back to something I was supposed to do three weeks ago. With I see everybody talking about the Lil' Cat Spotter whoever he just did an interview with. I don't really know him. I ain't familiar, so I ain't gonna really talk about that situation. I'll speak on some shit that I seen um, he did with the city recently, right? All right, so bet. This shit started off, um, we got a cat named um, AMRD Honcho. He was shot 16 times. Everybody thought he was dead, you know what I'm saying? From the, from the videos and shit that came out, he ended up living. So I guess Say Cheese, that brought him back to St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? I guess the first interview he did, he did it with, um, I guess, your boy, um, um, God damn me, uh, L.A. Foes, right? So I'm going to play a little clip from the little first interview that he did with L.A. Foes, and then I'm going to go on to get to the point that I'm trying to make with this shit. Of course, I ain't screen sharing. Of course, I ain't monetized, so I ain't worried about no strike, but I'm just going to do it this way and let y'all hear a little bit. So if y'all want to dig further into the bullshit y'all can. Yeah. to an interview because I went to St. Louis probably St. Louis was probably the first city I really went to when I started Say Cheese and mm -hmm. um You been thugging out here. Yeah, but the in the first and second time I went to St. Louis, everybody was talking about you. You was in jail at the time. Yeah. And um, you know, that's all the, the kids was going crazy about you and everybody was excited for you to get out. And you know, you were released what like three years ago? Yeah. So basically, I guess it's three years that since he been to St. Louis from, I guess, the first time he came. So I guess he probably came one year, came the next year, then came again. All right. So peep this. Now, LA, LA Foes was one of our biggest young up and coming artists that was coming out the city. Of course, he got locked up, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of stunted his career. But what career, what made him one of the biggest artists was he was signing a loose cannon. And that's like one, the biggest promoter that we got out there. I mean, this dude, he fuck with everybody. I ain't just talking about rappers. Like, I'm talking about in the game, he fuck with everybody. So, you know what I'm saying? He the biggest promoter that we got. He do summer jams and all that type shit, right? But the problem that I got with this, I just want to play that clip from LA Foes. I guess they had never done the interview. But what had led, what, what had led Say Cheese, in my opinion, to come back out there was um, D. Honcho, right? D. Honcho got popped up 16 times. I already said that, right? So, damn, this probably... I got to cut this down and then cut it back up because I don't want no commercial to play. Not that any of that shit matters to me anyway, but it is what it is. Give me a second, child, because I, I wanna, I'm going to make a point here. Like you don't start none of that. You just be 
responded? Um, I can say it's it's both. I just said some stuff first. And, yeah. You were just shot sixteen times. Are you gonna stop now? Stop what? Dissing. Oh uh, no, I got a song dropping. Okay. That bring me to my point, right? So in this in this interview, D Honcho, he got his he was shot in the hand one at a time. So he got his hand wrapped up. So the math, this had to be at least two weeks if that after D Honcho was shot sixteen times. Now you know Say Cheese, he put out interviews in parts. So what I didn't understand was when he went back. And he brought up the beef between Lil Tay and D Honcho, which this shit is four years old. So I'm not even understanding why this shit is even being brought up. And he came out here and he went to all the local. These cats young. So, you're telling me all this is happening to you from somebody you've never met? Never met. Not just, and not only just him, other niggas too. I probably not, bro. My mom right here, bro. My mom could come back for me, bro. No bullshit. Come on. Boom, police. There been times, bro, I'm in the crib. I put my hand behind my back. I'm in the door. I just see what you got now, let's say. Go out my crib, come out with box and take now that that that's a video with Lil Tay, right? And him and D Honcho had issues, you know, back in back in the day. You know how it is with up and coming rappers out the city. Niggas was cool, but you know, nigga might feel like all oh, this nigga hating on me or whatever the case might be, right? Now I got so many clips. I it's to the point to where now I don't even really want to play no more, but. One thing I addressed was the dissing the dead part, and that shit came from back in the, you know, you could look the video up, but that shit came from 30 Deep Grammy. I mean, 30 Deep, he, he started fucking with Vine them, and he kind of brought that dissing the dead people and all that shit, got a whole song to where he got some of my little homies. Rest in peace to Fonzo, a free all the bread game niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because Juju, you know what I'm saying? That's my little cousin, you know what I'm saying? Um... And everybody from the city, they know it. The bread game cats, man. Rest, rest in peace to Zoe. Wine, twine, free men, man. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit. Lil D. But my thing is this, right? Now, with our rappers, right? Our local young rappers. That shit kind of had died because niggas went to jail. You know what I'm saying? A few niggas lost their life. All type of shit. But I just didn't understand why... He came to St. Louis, and I got more clips that I could play. And I think he did these interviews, I could say, you know, three weeks to a month ago. You know what I'm saying? At the max. Because, like I said, De Honcho had got shot, like, a week before I left. I only been here for a month. So, that's five weeks. So, shit, maybe three weeks ago he did the interviews. But what, what, what had disturbed me is, um, little half... And them, they had a little beef going on with 30 Deep Grimy, to my understanding. They had squashed all that shit or whatever, but they had got into a little fight, you know, at Roof Chris. But they put all that shit behind them, you know what I'm saying? And he he came down here. Oh, now, we don't know why D. Honcho got shot. We don't know what happened to him. We don't know if that had anything to do with the rap shit. But he came down to St. Louis you know, opening up old wounds, you know, and I'm kind of freestyling this video. I was supposed to do it a long time ago, but he came down here opening up old, old wounds, starting shit with the young cats, you know, asking questions about certain situations that's three or four years fucking old. So in my honest opinion and what I feel about him, I feel like he worse than Vlad, considering the fact of his You know, where he's staying, where he's supposed to stand in this shit. So I don't agree with it, man. And I just want to say, man, that nigga is doing that in every city. It's like he only want to deal with the 
death artists, the beefing artists, the niggas who got this shit, crazy shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So, but even with my little situation with MHB, right? My thing with MHB was like these cats, these rappers that I'm like talking about now, they got music with Gotti and, you know what I'm saying, some of the big acts, Vine, whatever the case might be. They was fucking with some of the large people. So even when me and MHB had our shit going on, damn, she calling. They shine. I think, let me see what she, go outside. I think your mama back with them groceries. She okay. is. All right, she calling my phone. All right. Tell I'm on live while I'm recording a video. All right. Uh, um, but back to what I was saying, because I'm finna uh, end this in a minute when they start coming in with the groceries. But I'm, I'm gonna do a, a follow up video, right? But I mean, these cats had ended they beef. They ain't, they ain't been fighting and feuding back and forth. Niggas then went to jail, came home. Niggas then lost brothers and cousins behind this shit. So I just really didn't understand what his motive was. And like I was saying, like I think he kind of worshiped in Vlad because it's like that's all he chased around is these rappers that talk about this specific thing. And I'm not a blogger. This was something that I was supposed to do, and so it's going to make it seem like, oh, I'm blogging, I'm talking about the same shit that everybody else is talking about. But I'm doing this mainly to put the spotlight on, you know, D. Hancho, L.A. Foes, 30 Deep Grammy, Lil Hav, Jizzle Bucks, you know what I'm saying? Young, up-and-coming rappers from my city. And I'm going to start covering this shit a little more, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I said even... With MHB, I'm like, damn, nigga, it shouldn't have... We do bikini boxing every Saturday at halftime, boy and grill. Nigga, that shit way better than what... And this ain't no disrespect or knock on what Wood's doing. But I'd much rather watch, you know what I'm saying, two women fighting in bikinis than shit with these niggas out there doing. But with all that being said, man, that was my whole little gripe. Say she shouldn't have to come to St. Louis and cover our artists and our story. So that was my whole gripe with, um, you know, MHB. It wasn't a beef. It was just, I was asking him because I felt like shit, homie will blow up. He'll go to the next level if he covered that shit because these cats, some of the, a lot of these cats, they don't just got say cheese interviews. Shit, 30 Deep, he got a, a Vlad interview. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people fucking with him. So shit, nigga, put that light on the city. But she, you know, my kids and shit finna come in with the food and the groceries. We finna cook this Sunday dinner. And, uh, you know, 314 Mike, I'm just trying to put out a little video and, you know, get my perspective on the say cheese. I understand that's his job, but God damn, dog. Nigga, if you're gonna come to the city, nigga, come to the city when they have album release parties. Come to the city, nigga, when, when they doing something positive. Don't just come to the city and promote the bullshit. 314 Mike, man, I'm signing out, man. I'm finna get this food going. Salute to everybody that's rocking with me, man. I know I'm supposed to be going live and putting out more content. But like I said before, once before, I'm trying to separate myself from all the bullshit. You dig what I'm saying to you? Hey, it is what it is. It's enough people on here talking about bullshit. So everybody that's rocking with me, I appreciate that. You see me, man. I'm sitting back in the cut doing me. Nigga, I'm gonna continue to be me and put out what I want to put out and talk about what I want to talk about. 314 Mike is no longer clout chasing. I never was, but it is what it is. Salute to y'all, man. I'm about getting ready to get this shit on out the way. I just want to talk about that. Go support the St. Louis artists, man. Go look at them interviews. Run the numbers up on them. I ain't hating on the boys say cheese, but goddamn, man. Quit leading these young niggas in the wrong direction. Peace.